Hi, I'm Jen. I'm Cora. And this is Coffee, Coffee Connections. Connections. We are making these videos for those of you who are homebound, who need an extra dose of positivity in your day. Uh, and if you're new to this, we start off each episode with saying what we are grateful for or what we're excited about. Cora, do you want to start? Sure. I am excited that the Houston Zoo is doing a live cam on their animals. For example, they have um, they have videos on the giraffes, gorillas, elephants, leaf cutter ants, rhinos, and chimpanzees. I think that's going to be really cool to check out today. We first checked out the giraffes, and what mm -hmm. were they doing? They were all eating from this branch. One of them was a baby, which... You know, was cute. And then there was a zebra, too, hanging out with them. And what I liked is while you were on the webcam, on your screen, there was a little uh, controller in the lower right section, which and you could, could which Cora could handle, and you could move the webcam around to look at their yard and to look at things. So we actually. I don't know if we saw the giraffes right away, but then we used the controller and then we saw them feeding. And that was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. So HoustonZoo.org and all of our resources from today will be in the show notes um, in the description box beneath the YouTube link beneath the title. Okay, so definitely we are talking about all of our tips and all of our links and resources in that description box. So while you're headed there, please hit the like button and uh, let's keep going. Uh, I'm excited. I found out today that Peloton, that fancy, expensive um, exercise bike with the cool app, uh, they are offering free 90 days worth of their app service. So right about Christmas time, I we got a exercise bike at home and I had been meaning to sign up for one of those fun apps and I hadn't done it, and now I'm feeling more motivated to do it. I'm gonna make myself do it because I love the Peloton commercials. For uh, example, here I come, you can have The kid's shaking his head in the corner. I love that commercial. Good, thank you for singing that for me. That already lifted my spirits today. Okay. Um, Oh, I just wanted to add one more thing. I don't know if you guys are on the Nextdoor app. Um, usually there's lots of venting and grumblings about uh, things that people are annoyed with. Um, but recently it's been really helpful. Um, there's been threads of people helping others talk about what grocery stores are open, what they have stocked, how long the lines might be, what a good time to go is, what the opening hours are as they've shifted uh, during this COVID-19 um, phase in our life. And I appreciate that. Um, I'm trying to contribute when I can. And then also they are, I saw something on there this weekend where there was chalk your sidewalk and they did that over the weekend. Some of them were Saturdays, some of them were Sunday. What's up? Um, what, what's, chalk, what's chalk your weekend or chalk your sidewalk? So they're suggesting that when you're going out on walks, to bring chalk with you and write little positive messages. And that is right in line with what we are trying to do here. And I think it's really cool. So um, I saw the ad for that after we had taken our walk yesterday. So today, I don't think it matters what day you do it. It can always be, you can always write something positive. And there are a lot more people taking walks and walking their dogs right now, doesn't it seem? Mm -hmm. At least where we live in Southern California. Okay, so that's what we're grateful and excited about today. And now for the kid resources. So I have been interested in coding for a while and I have this book, 20 Games to Create with Scratch. And, it, and it's basically um, this book, there's this website called Scratch and it, and you, you code games 
but it's not like javascript or anything they like they explain what each one does and it's like glide and instead of it's like move xrp to it's like glide glide one sec to x2 y1 and it's um and it's called 20 games to create with scratch and and it shows different games you can create and how to create them for example this page so that shows that they have different levels right so if mm -hmm. you're just starting out with scratch you might want to try the level one games mm -hmm. and, and this weekend since i'm more familiar with scratch i coded I coded, um... I thought it was 47. Oh, yeah, 47. Page 47. I, I coded ping pong. And my mom and I both played it together on the same device. And it just codes you. And once you do it for a while, you can start coding your, you start coding your own games. And you get the basics of it. How long did it take you to originally code it? I wasn't paying attention. We played it this weekend, but you had done it the other day. How long did it take? In total? For co for the coding part. For the coding part? It'll take longer for new people since they need to find the bricks and they need to get used to it and they need to understand what the bricks do and mean. But for me, since I'm more used to it, it took me about two to two and a half hours. Really? I think two hours at least. Two hours? Okay. One, one and a half to two hours. Well, I love that you are doing stuff like this. It's really fun to see you making your own games that you can then play with, that we can then play with. And props to you for being open-minded because when we first sat down to play it, I gave her some user feedback, which has to be part of the coding process, right? <laughs> or any working process. So when we first yeah. started playing it, um, I was having a tough time with the controller and she thought it was just me. Um, but I wanted the ball to go faster. So and I said, so I said, user feedback, can you make the ball go back and forth a little faster to make it a little more interesting? And then she bloop, 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 coded it up and made it, up and made it faster, which was cool. And, uh, then we switched sides because one side was a touch screen and the other side was, the um, arrows. controlled by the arrows on your keyboard. And so uh, then we switched sides and she was kind of like, admit it, you're making fun of me a little bit because I kept getting out. I was not making fun of you. I said, I did not say, oh, you're not using it correctly. Oh, you're not, oh, you're not, oh, you're not bad at the game. I said, well, maybe it just, I didn't know. I, I was getting out a lot on the blue side. I was saying, cause this happens a lot. It's where the ball would hit the side but you would be like so close and you'd go over it and you would think that it hit you, but really you went over the ball. And so that would happen. And you're like, hey, I just. So it felt, yeah. I struggled a bit that I was getting out a lot. And that would happen sometimes where she would go over the ball and think she made it, but she didn't. Right. Then so then we switched out. sides and what happened once we switched sides? And then, and the controllers, it, the ball kept on like going through I would be right where it would and it would go through and it wouldn't and it wouldn't count it would I would lose points basically and um and it turns out that the figure was not wide enough so it could not sense the um the sprite so did you code it up and fix it up yeah. or can you I did you did already yeah all right well then we'll play it's shorter another... but it's wider we'll play another game at lunch then <laughs> the contact screen just in case. <laughs> in case. Okay. Um, okay. So 20 games with Scratch. We will put the link in the description box for you. Um, so mom resources. I tried something really cool this weekend with uh, one of my mom friends. Um, we had a Netflix party. And I didn't even know you could do this. But you can watch movies with somebody else who has Netflix and chat in the sidelines as you're watching. And so... I, it's like, hey, I cannot believe that this plot happened, and this and so-so did this, and that so-and-so died, and then movie plot. Right. Yeah. So, um, so what it does is it's a Chrome app. So you go to the Chrome store, 
and the app, the Chrome App Store, and you get the extension for Netflix Party and add it to your browser, and then you open up your Netflix, select any movie, hit the Netflix Party icon button, and then it'll give you a URL, and you share that with your friends, and then they come in, and you each have your little assigned icon. She's a hot dog. <laughs> I didn't choose it. That's what they gave me. And then, but I do like hot dogs. And then uh, you can add your name to it so that you can see who's talking because we just had a couple people last night. I think we're going to try it again tomorrow with another group of friends. Um, and it was fun. I wanted Cora to, didn't I, wasn't that what I wanted you to be able to do? Mm-hmm. And but then, we couldn't get to Google Apps. Oh, because Cora was going to do it on her um, iPad, right? And but it she, only works on computers. Yeah. So... That was a bit of a bummer. Even though I have a keyboard case, it still wouldn't allow it. But anyways, it's a fun way to connect. Um, If you're feeling lonely out there, and I don't know how many people are solo in their homes that are watching, um, and you don't have anybody to, like, play cards or board games with in person, but if you're in your home by yourself, this is a great way to uh, reach out and watch a movie and chit-chat. Um, yeah. Also, we had mentioned this tip previously, but house party is pretty darn fun. Yeah. And one of the things I've been noticing while we are homebound is that... Although you, in order to have an account, you need to be at least 13 with a phone number. Yes. So Cora was too young for that. Um, but when we do it, when we do the house party with our cousins in New York... Uh, we can definitely just use my phone for it and stuff. Um, but what I wanted to say about it is, and we still have yet to try the games. They have all sorts of cool games. So House Party is an app where you can connect with other people and kind of like FaceTime. All the faces come up, but there's these little things that you can do. Like you roll the dice and there's these different games that you can play. Like what's that game? Heads up? Heads up, yeah. And it's just... So you can play that on there. Uh, I forget what the other games are. There's a chips and guac, but you need at least three people with that. But what I used it for was while we're stuck at home, and I don't know, it's not a boredom thing or if it's something to do, but I feel, I've feel i been feeling more peckish. I've been feeling like I need more snacks. Have you? Yes. Just because we're home yes. and we're around? A lot of cheated snacks. Cora's favorite snack right now is uh, cheese and snap. And snaps. Yes. Not exactly healthy for you, but don't worry. We're balancing that out with carrots and cucumbers and snap peas and broccoli. So many carrots. Uh, but yesterday I wanted to go get a snack, but it was like an hour after I had had a breakfast. And it was like, okay, I don't need to do that. So I checked on my house party and I just... Waved at a couple people to see if they wanted to chat, and my friend Lisa picked up, and we, so we were able to chat, and doing that definitely staves off the interest in checking the cupboards. All right, so that is my, that wraps up my mom resources for the day. Do you have anything that you want to say? Um, recipes? Yes, we definitely want to do recipes. Um, don't forget you can reach us on Twitter at at Jen Leo on Twitter, um, and send us your recipes that you are using. Here's one that I want to try today. It's from this book that I got at Five and Below. Hello. It's called Tasty, Latest and Greatest. And fidget spinner cookies. Oh, yeah. Cora says on the back they have fidget spinner cookies in it. Cool. And it looks, since there's holes in there, it looks like they can actually spin. There's definitely okay. stuff for grown-ups and for... Um, for kids and what I like about it is, is they make everything easy it's just easy rest recipes and so this is the one that I want to try hopefully tonight it's the one skillet chicken pot pie pie there we go one skillet one skillet chicken pot pie so I will take a picture of the recipe so that Cora can um, insert it into this video. We had, I am the editor. We had some technical difficulties over the weekend, so some of our pictures didn't get added. We apologize for that. Um, you can't comment in the thing, but you can comment to us on Twitter and just let us know if there's something that you want to see. We are taking requests, 
And also, we want to launch a new thing, which is birthdays. Talk about birthdays. Oh, so if you have a birthday coming up, you can um, somehow just let my mom know and or just put it in Twitter, right? And we will have a birthday surprise for you on the day it is. Yes. So if you have a birthday surprise while we are homebound, I mean, if you have, if your kid has a birthday while we are homebound, we will create a birthday surprise for them on our video for that day. Um, in as much as, in as much that we can. Uh, so yes. So I don't know who's having a birthday, but coming up, but let us know. And, uh, what? Party packs. We don't know what we're going to do, but we will do something um, to try and help make your kid's birthday a little bit more special. Okay? Okay. All right. So um, to wrap it up, we really want to encourage all of you kids. Actually, you encourage the kids with their homeschooling this week, and I'll encourage the moms. It's face. Well, you guys have a week's worth of homeschooling now, yeah. the distance learning, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's basically just like school. This, just imagine it as just like school, the same exact thing you're doing, just at home where you, and yeah. Well, you get more courage. We just want to encourage you to stay focused, get your work done. Some kids are getting um, some of their assignments done, like a week's worth of assignments done in a couple of days. We know that not every kid can do that, but we just want you to try your best, right? Mm -hmm. The teachers are just hoping that you make an effort and um, you're spending a little bit time challenging yourself to keep on learning while we're homebound. And I want to encourage those moms to keep passing around those funny memes and funny little gifts and funny little uh, picture cards about what it's like to... Like that cat in the disco one? Oh, no. Some of the moms are passing uh -huh. around little jokes about what it's like to be taking care of their kids right now. Uh -huh. Oh, I just thought of something. So talk to them about something really quick. I'm going to look it up. I want to wrap it up with something that I found this weekend that was so cool. So Cora, talk about something for a few minutes while I find this, okay? Please. Okay, um, so for level one, back to scratch, for level one games, you can make, you can make Hungry Cat, Treasure Island, Amazing Maze, Drive Me Crazy, Tunnel of Gold, Cross the Road, which is pretty much kind of like crossing road, and then um, level two games are Dog and Bone, like Dog and Bone, Cats to Donut, Up in the Clouds, which is basically a plane trying to avoid clouds, and it goes faster. Um, level three games, Flappy Fish, that's one I want to start. Uh, helicopter Pilot, Snake, Ping Pong, which is the one I did, Cat and Mouse, Catch the Pizzas, Rock Blaster, Balloon Burster, Brick Bouncer, level five games are Penguin Jumper, Tower Smash, and then there's a whole section on making your own games. And for example, if you wanna see a level two game, for example, that would be, um, that's, it would be, a, um, for example, Dog and Bone. It would look, the coding would look, or up in the clouds, it would look like. All right, wrap it up. Like this. Dog and bone, looking like this. Cute. Right there, she's talking about in the green area. Super cute. Okay, so I wanted to let everybody know that this weekend, the New York Times ran a fantastic article uh, called I spent a year in space and I have tips on isolation to share take it from someone who couldn't go outside so Scott Kelly is a retired uh, NASA astronaut who spent nearly a year on the International Space Station so he wrote this article about how being stuck at home can be challenging and he is offering things that you can do to 
feel better while you're stuck at home. Okay, so I wanted to read, I wanted to read one of the sections. Um, and one of the sections is called You Need a Hobby. When you are confined in a small space, you need an outlet that isn't work or maintaining your environment. Some people are surprised to learn I brought books with me to space. The quiet and absorption you can find in a physical book, one that doesn't ping you with notifications or tempt you to open a new tab, is priceless. Many small bookstores are currently offering curbside pickup or home delivery service, which means you can support a local business while also cultivating some much needed unplugged time. You can also practice an instrument. I just bought a digital guitar trainer online. Try a craft or make some art. Astronauts take time for all of these while in space. Remember Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield's famous cover of David Bowie's Space Oddity? And then also he goes on to say, keep a journal. NASA has been studying the effects of isolation on humans for decades, and one surprising finding they have made is the value of keeping a journal. Throughout my year-long mission, I took the time to write about my experiences almost every day. If you find yourself just chronicling the day's events, which under the circumstances might get repetitive, instead try describing what you were experiencing through your five senses or write about memories. Even if you don't wind up writing a book based on your journal like I did, writing about your days will help put your experiences in perspective and let you look back later on what this unique time in history has meant. So I really liked that. Thank you, Mr. Scott Kelly. Um, and if you want to look it up, you can read it for free on nytimes.com. It's an opinion piece. I spent a year in space and I have tips on isolation to share. So with that, have a great day. We will see you tomorrow. And bye. Positivity puppies. Puppy's still sleeping. All right. See you later.